fellas, today is a good day. You want to know why? Because I finally did it. Check it out, Bubble Bee Man's naughty list. This fat wall of text. It's almost done, man. All I have left is like 18 more meteors and I'm done. Oh my god, this thing was god awful, dude. Jesus Christ. This was uh, definitely the worst quest in the entirety of Bee Swarm by far. Like, my god, dude, this was just god awful. But it's fine because we're done, all right? My hours and days of constantly grinding is finally over. That's right, I've been constantly grinding, like, not AFK grinding, that is not possible if you want to beat this quest. You gotta do hands-on actual grinding this entire quest line, dude, it's terrible. Or at least for the parts that are actually hard, like pollen and like, you know, tokens and stuff, who cares about those, those are easy. I'll get into like all the meaty, greedy, sucky parts about this quest later on, probably when we're closer to turning this in. But I just want to make it clear, today is the final episode of Beastmas Part 3, alright? And I believe there's not going to be an update after this, like Part 4, so that means it's officially done. Hey, sup guys, it's me, and this is the part of the video where I ask you to smash like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It doesn't take long at all, and it really helps me out a lot. You gotta be part of the small percentage of people who are actually subscribed. Fellas, we are about 500 subscribers away from 14k, so let's keep going. And uh, yeah, the final episode of Beesmas. Thank god it's over. I honestly wish it just ended like two months ago, but I guess it just had to keep trucking along. Honestly though, this was probably one of the most annoying updates ever. On it, if you ever think about doing another Puff Shroom related set of quest lines ever again, with a limited time, I'm actually going to stab something. But uh, yeah, of course, since this is a Bee Swarm episode, I of course have to advertise my other content. So if you want to, go check out my previous episode that I uploaded. The Closing Shift, it was a horror game made by Chilla's Art. That episode was actually a nightmare, man. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. With that all being said, enjoy the video. Gonna be honest, this was probably like the one event that I feel like should have been extended again. Because I know Onnit said like somewhere on Discord that, oh, he's not gonna extend Bubble Bee Man because uh, it's already gone on long enough and he doesn't feel like he needs to. But like, dude, I barely finished the damn thing and I'm an endgame player. I'm late endgame. What? What do you mean you're not gonna extend it? What? What about the other 99.9% .9 of the Bee Swarm population? What about them? I understand Bubble Man isn't meant for everyone to complete, but I feel like if you have like most of the endgame stuff, you should be able to complete it. It's only fair, like that sounds fair, right? I heard the rewards for this year isn't even that good as well, so like, why? Why make it so tedious, so incredibly difficult, but not even give out that many good things? Now, I didn't see the actual reward, so I don't know if it's actually garbage or if people are just being extremely greedy, who knows? But I feel like if that's the consensus everyone has come to, then it's probably true. But like, I literally barely finished this thing in like four days remaining of Beesmas. That is not good. I, I have level 17 and 18 Bs. That is like far late endgame right there, my friend. I mean, as you saw last episode, the only reason why I wasn't able to get the quest until like 15 days left until Beesmas is over was because of Bee Bear, because of, like, you know, the legendary Puff Shroom hated that thing. You know, it's pure RNG, it sucks. That was also a pretty terrible quest. But like, this Beesmas event was just so incredibly RNG related, man. I'm honestly so lucky I actually did Gummy Bear, like, when I did, because after I did, like, my Gummy Bear quest, I got no Legendary Puff Shrooms for a while, man. Those five that I got during the quest, that was my lucky break. Cause goddamn did I see a Legendary Puff Shroom shortage after that, it was god awful. But yeah, since this is the final episode of Beesmas Part 3, I'm going to be doing everything in this episode, alright? We're gonna be finishing off the tree. I already have it finished, actually, but I, I recorded myself giving, like, five NPCs a present, so I'll probably show that in a couple minutes. But as well as that, we're also gonna be turning in Bubble Bee Man's quest. We're gonna be checking out the stupid lump of coal thingy, the list. We're gonna be purchasing most things out of Bee Bear's catalog. I actually can't buy the whole thing out this year because I don't have enough snowflakes. I am about 7,500-ish away from being able to afford the star treat and also this, this one over here, but like, I'm not gonna get it in time. I highly doubt it. Maybe if I really cranked out snowflake grinding, I could, 
but like I just don't care enough to do it because like it's just a star treat I know like most people probably pog when they see this but like check this out I have 19,000 tickets. I can get 19 star treats if I really wanted to I don't need just one. All right I could care less about grinding for this so we're not gonna be buying that, all right? We're not gonna be 100%ing Beastmas this year. Sorry, but uh, no thank you. I don't really know why I was not able to buy the whole thing out this year. I feel like I was like on top of like snowflake grinding, but I guess I just came up short for some reason. As well as purchasing most things from Bieber's catalog, we're also gonna be opening the uh, 15th gift box, like the Mondo one all the way on the top over here. We're gonna see what's inside here. I know there is a Honey Day boost, so we're gonna be using that as well to do one final boost for Beesmas, all right? On camera, that's right, you heard me right. On camera, you are so welcome. I said I wasn't gonna do it again, but I feel like this was probably gonna be the biggest and just like the, the best boost I'm ever gonna do at least until like maybe next year actually not even next year because th there's a very specific reason why it's not gonna be as good next year I'll get into that once we actually do the boost to summarize though this is the ending to Beastmas all right it's over it's gone on for like three months gonna be honest I think if audit included the five last Bieber quests in Beastmas part two I don't think I would be complaining as much because you would have a lot of time to do like the stupid legendary puff shroom thing also with the gummy bear so it's kind of like knocking out two birds with one stone but it'd be a lot less tedious having to do two legendary puff shroom quests separately and then once business part three comes out that would give you a lot more time to do bubblebee band like an entire month I feel like that would have been a lot more reasonable I mean I get it on it was like running short on time but on the other hand, now I was running short on time to finishing the event, so like, what the hell? It was so incredibly annoying, dude. I feel like the reason why this whole Beastmas event kinda went downhill a little bit with like all the quests and all that, is probably just because Ana gave himself too much work again, in like a short period of time. I feel like that's a common occurrence with Beastworm. Ana thinks he can do something in like this amount of time, turns out it takes three times as long. Like that, that's happened pretty much every update now. Honestly, if that didn't happen, and you know, the update was released pretty normally, like most of the stuff got added, like, all at once, I don't think I would be complaining as much for the Puff Shroom quest, just because I would probably beat all these quests, like, not even close to Beastmas ending. But when you give me such a massive time crunch due to pure RNG, with a ticking clock on the side that I see 24-7, that is when I start to get kind of furious. This thing was starting to near the end. When I was doing the entire Bubblebee Man questline, I was trying so hard, I was cranking out hours into making sure I was on schedule to finishing it before the clock ended. And there was a few moments where I was like, I'm not gonna finish this in time. I'm screwed. I'm actually screwed. I'm not gonna beat it. And that's very detrimental to someone who is literally like a very late endgame player and also someone who feeds off of content about doing stuff in this game, you know? That's a pretty scary thing when you realize you're not gonna be able to finish it. Especially after all the work I cranked into doing it previously, like, to just think I'm not gonna actually beat it? That- that was just soul crushing at times, man. But I did it, so it's fine, man. It's all good. Anyways, I think I talked long enough about why Beastmas is all eh this year. How about let's uh, move on to some of the ornament stuff, all right? So um, I'm gonna cut back a few days in the past and we're gonna be turning in some ornaments and then we're gonna cut back. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about something that was on my mind and then we'll go hand in Boba Man's quest and I guess finish the episode off with a boost, all right? What up, fellas? Welcome back. And we have some work to do. I have to go through like every single ornament in the game. I just got five left. I gotta figure out who I have left. I know one of them or two of them are Riley and Buckleby, so that's two. Gummy Bears, three. Bubble Man is number four. Who is the last one that I didn't give it to? I know it's probably like an NPC or a, a bear or a brown bear. All right, let's let's do it then. I'm gonna be honest, I don't believe I have enough time to go through all of them before nighttime is over, so I think I might have to use another night bell, but that's fine. Man, it's cold. Here you go, bud. But not too cold for us to exchange gifts. So what is it, huh? What you get all brown bear? Whoa, a one year subscription to be Amazon Prime. I'll get so much out of this, you have no idea. Thanks, bud. Now look at what I got you, including the royal jelly ornament. With that on the beast mystery, you'll receive the following boosts. 25% convert rate, 25% capacity in the clover field, and 20% pollen for bomb abilities. Happy bees, mess. Alright, thanks, mate. I gotta go. I have, like, four other dudes to go through, man. We, we gotta, we gotta get moving. 
Sorry that I'm sticking this in like such a random spot, but like I I didn't know where else to put it, man. There was not many convenient times to do this, but I just felt like holding on to five presents was just a bit excessive, especially now that I can get every single ornament in the game. Anyways, but we better not use that snow machine. It's too dang cold. There you go, bud. Nuh uh, you did it. You did. Let me open it. Let me open it. <laughs> What? It's a dark scythe? I didn't give you that, man. No way in hell I'm buying that thing. What do you think I am, stupid? Buying an endgame equip that's not for my color? Who would even do that? How on earth did you afford this? I didn't. I, I'm too poor for that, actually. Do you realize how rare these are? We've only got one in the whole HQ. Man, now I feel silly. I got you a gift too, but it's not even in the same league. Hope you like it anyways. It includes the electric candle ornament. That on the bees mystery, you'll receive these boosts. 25% convert rate, 25% capacity in the rose field and mushroom fields, and 10% pollen from flames. Mayor Beesmas, now if you'll excuse me, I've got to set up my bee pad. Oh boy, oh boy. Yep, there you go, man. Did I give him a bee pad last year? I'm not exactly sure. Why, why, what is a bee pad? I feel like that was the gift that you gave him last year, except on it forgot to scrub over that text instead of the, you know, dark sight stuff. Maybe, unless I'm stupid, I don't know. I could totally skip all this dialogue, by the way. It's pretty much the same thing. I mean, we did get, like, a little bit of new dialogue, but it's pretty much the same exact thing from last year. Just, like, maybe one or two extra new sentences. But I don't care. I like doing the voices, all right? Everyone constantly complains. Oh, just shut up, man. Just, just do, do not the voice. Just skip the dialogue. I hate the dialogue. I hate you, Gumpendium. But, uh, shut up, man. I don't care. I like doing the voices, so I'm gonna continue doing it. Here you go, bud. Wait, don't tell me you brought me a present. Of all beekeepers I've met, you really are the coolest. One second. Let me just try to unwrap this with my wing somehow. Oh, it's a snow tiara bee quip. Well, this is a little awkward. Bucko bees can't equip snow tiaras, but don't worry. I've got plenty of blue bee friends here at the HQ who will make great use out of this. Thanks, and now some gifts for you, including the snowman ornament. With that on the bees, Miss Tree, you'll receive the following boosts. 25% convert rate, 25% capacity in the blue flower field and pine tree forest, and 10% blue field capacity. Hope that helps. Merry Blue Bees, Miss. All right, thanks, mate. Who do we have left? Um, is it just Gummy Bear and Bubbly Man? Is that it? I think so. Aside from Spirit Bear, I think Gummy Bear is like one of the only other NPCs I actually like talking to. Because Spirit Bear, I like the philosophical vibes that she gives off. And Gummy Bear is just a lunatic. Literally, the character I, I love in like any form of media. Hey man, how's it going? A beekeeper approaches Gummy Bee! Here you go, mate. I should have done this like five weeks ago, but whatever, man. What is that in your two tiny little feeble hands, Gummy Soldier? A customary delivery, a gesture of goodwill. Gummy Bear, I permit you to open it for us. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you've brought live ammunition, a case of hand grenades. How explosively sweet. I will put these to good use coming up a village or two. Kaboom! In exchange, my gooey grunt, I give you this. The Gummy Club Ornament! Let it serve as a constant reminder that better days will come! And the unbearably bitter and salty state of our world will give way to a sweet future! All worlds will be goonited when Gummy Bee and I are through! And with that ornament on your wooden plant, you will receive the following boost to aid in a goo crusade! 10% capacity, 25% coconut field capacity, 1% critical chance, and 10% goo! Now, go goo up the pathetic beesmas festivities once and for all! Ah, thank you, man. I still think you are a terribly problematic man. Screw you still. Oh my god, alrighty. Well then, hot dog. We just got one more fella to give it to then. 
That also means though we have to use a night bell because it literally just turned nighttime. So whatever, man. I literally am never gonna use it for anything else besides this. Like I don't use it to just get a vicious bee if I really need one or something, or like for the daily bonus. I suck. I've only used night bells for bubble bee man, so might as well use it. It's only like two a year. I'm sure I can get them back. Maybe. Hey up, dude. I am nowhere near completing your quest at all. But at least I have a present for you. You don't deserve one, but I'm still giving it to you anyways. Hmm. Here you go, man. Uh, well, uh, wow. So you're uh, really out of characters to give uh, pre presents to. Kinda suspicious, not gonna lie. Uh, I mean, uh, thanks, friend. Uh, just, uh, could you, uh, open it for me? I don't really have a, a, a body. <sighs> oh, it's, uh... It's a $10 Roblox gift card. Uh, I've never played Roblox. I'm a man, not a baby. I mean, uh, I, I mean, that came out kind of m mean. You're not a baby. You're, uh, you're, you're, you're B-Bear's uh, special little, little funny little helper. <laughs> and thanks to you and your cool bee swarm trademark, everyone got a present this year. And I, uh, th yeah, I, I guess the spirit of bees is, uh, it, it's a good thing, right? So, like, uh, do you, do you want this gift card or something? Actually, wait, no, I'll, I'm, I'm going to sell it. Sorry, but, uh, uh, thanks. I'll sell it at the back alleyway, where I always resonate. Bye. Eh? Oh, <laughs> I got debated for a second. I thought he just didn't give you anything, and I was like, oh, well then, that's a nice thing. Look at that, we did it. We got five box of frogs, one ticket planter, a buoyant bee jelly, and the bread climp ornament. And now that means our tree is finally complete. It only took three months, but we did it, fellas. I only have like 14 days left to enjoy this thing. What the hell? In my defense, though, I only really could have gotten this like yesterday since like, you know, Bee Bear only decided to let me finish his quest like on the 15th day left of Beesmith. So what was I supposed to do, man? But now everything is complete. It's beautiful, man. Everything is done. Would you look at that? Now if I actually do a mega boost, I am not officially missing out. I'm pretty sure when I did my gummy baller boost, I could have given out at least like maybe one or two presents. But we're not gonna talk about that, alright? Anyways, back to the regular video. Alright, fellas, welcome back. We're nearing pretty much the end. I just wanted to talk a little bit more about comments that I got. I, I know I said I wasn't going to do that last episode, but there's just like two that, that really piqued my curiosity. When I saw them, I just went like, what? I'm not going to take up too much of your time with this. I just thought it was kind of funny. But there was a comment I got kind of a while ago, and it basically just said, is it me or does this guy act like Nikocado Avocado? Uh, what? Excuse me? Huh? Care to elaborate, maybe? I'm pretty sure this wasn't the gummy baller video, I think. How am I Nikocado Avocado? What? That, that, what? Huh? Where is your evidence, man? What the hell? That was just so out of pocket, man. My god. This may be like grasping at straws, but maybe what they're talking about is the fact that I was like yelling at you guys in that episode, you know, the gummy baller thing. And I'm pretty sure Nikocado Avocado basically just screams at his fans like every video. But there were very specific reasons why I was yelling at you guys in that episode. Mainly because a lot of you were being stupid in the comments and I had to address it. Like Nikocado Avocado, I'm pretty sure that man just like yells at his fans saying, No, I, I don't, I don't, I don't do this. I, I don't, blah. But they don't got any evidence to back it up, you know? Now, just a disclaimer, I don't actually watch his videos because I personally do not enjoy watching people aggressively eat food. So I'm not really sure, like, what he screams at his fans about. All I've seen is just, like, a bunch of compilations about him, like, just having mental breakdowns. But he doesn't back up his claims with any evidence, he just screams at his fans. But I, on the other hand, I had the receipts to back my point up. That was, like, what the first half of the video was even about. So, like, I, I don't know what that man was going on about. But guys, contrary to popular belief, I do not base my YouTube personality off of Nikocado Avocado, alright? I don't know where you got that from, but that is just false. My god. Anyways, another comment I got, I just saw this and I just started bursting out laughing. We got this guy saying, bro, I don't watch your videos and you're so mean. Hashtag cancel gumpendium. And when I saw that, I was like, <laughs> my god, dude. Okay, let's go. 
I officially got cancelled, guys. This is a glorious day in American history. It's about time, man. It's about time all my terrible actions and misdeeds in the past caught up to me. Oh boy. Can we get cancel compendium trending on Twitter, guys? That would be really cool. It's like free publicity. Easy advertising for my content. I don't even remember what this video was, but this guy was just so riled up over something I said that they just wanted to cancel me straight up. Yeah, guys, uh, I'm just gonna point out, whenever you make one of those comments saying like, bro, I hate you, I hate you so much, you're so, you're so stupid and you're so terrible, I don't care, alright? I'm not gonna take that to heart and be like, oh, oh, why? Why do you hate me? Please. What, what did I do to deserve this? I, I, I don't care, man. Just by seeing those comments, I, I know how old you are, so... <laughs> Let, let that be known, Gumpendium knows your age and he will come for you. Trust me. But like, dude, you really think I care? I have way more fun making this type of content. Alright, I'm not gonna bow down to your every needs. Yeah, I just thought those two comments were kind of interesting. Anyways, let's actually beat Bubbly Man, alright? We just gotta do a few more Mythic Meteors. Where are they? Right over there. I like looking at the square fields just because it's a lot easier to keep track of like the, the circles or whatever in a square field over like an elongated one. But let's do this, fellas. We're actually almost done. Oh my, it's, it's beautiful. We're so close. I kind of hope I beat this before it, nighttime ends. I don't want to use another night bell. That would be kind of nice if I don't have to. So please, game, please. Just like six more. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Let's do this, all right? I'm sure a lot of you probably by now are completely going, eh, wait, 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 wait. The video is getting too long. Wait, 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 wait. Some of you are probably already including timestamps in the videos that say, like, when the video actually starts, blah, 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 blah. But shut up, all right? We're done already now, okay? Bubble Man is over. Let's actually go, fellas. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now go. Now go before it ends, you fool. Oh, my. Look at this thing. Look at this beautiful green thing. Oh, my God. This fat wall of text. It is oh so beautiful. Let's no no no. God damn it. Well, I guess it's not a compendium video if I don't take at least one L. Oh my god, dude. Alrighty. Anyways, as I was saying, this quest is finally over. Oh my god, look at it. Look at it. Look at all the green. This is so long. Look look at how much I can scroll just to still see a fat wall of text, man. That's not good. Now, before we turn it in, I know you're probably dying for me to shut up, but I just want to go through, like, the worst parts about this quest, give my hot takes about, like, why this thing is just god-awful, dude. Alright, let's just kind of go down the list, alright? Pollen? Easy. Literally, I don't care if this numbers or any of these numbers were doubled or tripled, I wouldn't care because this is easy, alright? Tokens? Also easy. Nectars? Tokens from planters? All incredibly easy. Puffs from tokens? A literal cakewalk, dude. Festive nymph tokens? So incredibly easy, dude. Oh my god. But then, 555 soft wax tokens. On it. Why? Why must you do this to me? This part of the quest was just the absolute worst. So many puff shroom runs. So many. I've done hundreds upon hundreds of stupid puff shroom runs just to finish this one requirement. So many soft wax tokens. And you want to know the reason why this was the worst? There's a little funny thing about puff shroom runs, all right? The more you do them, the worser they get. You get worse rewards the more times you do them. And because Bee Bear screwed me over with pure RNG with that legendary puff shroom quest, I basically had my Beastmas clock halved, all right? I had 15 days left to do Bubble Bee Man. And since the more puff shroom runs you do, in a smaller amount of time, the worse the rewards get, that means I had to do more and more puff shroom runs to make up for every day that I didn't get enough soft waxes. And because I had such little time left to do Bubbly Man's quest, I had to do so many puff shroom runs in such a little amount of time, which caused me to get less soft wax tokens because I did so many runs in such a small amount of time because I had such little time left. What the hell? Why? Why would you make something that is like time gated so difficult in this part of the quest on it this number should have been halved all right this thing should have been cut in pure half oh my god that was just so god awful i hated that dude 
there were so many times where I was doing a puff should run and I was just like just contemplating what is the point of this why am I doing this is it even worth it what is wrong with my life please just let the pain end already but no I had to keep going because content guys and money so much money if I got this video out oh it's so beautiful but like so many people are complaining about the worldly gigs but that was easy I can afk if no <laughs> God damn it, you! No! 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 Honest, why? Why can't you just make these things up here in daytime, dude? Why? Oh my god, man. L number two has taken place, fellas. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it, de damn it, de damn it. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't know why so many people were complaining about the whirly gigs. It wasn't even that bad. I can AFK in a field for hours on end, dude. I don't care. I AFK'd so much with the paper planter in the pine tree forest, and I can get a bunch of whirly gigs that way. It was fine. So I don't know why you guys are complaining about that. I know the thing got nerfed in an update, but like, I still would have gotten like the 256 or whatever if this thing wasn't halved, all right? It didn't really matter. The thing I hated most was the soft wax tokens, just because of how time-gated it was due to the deterioration of puff rooms the more times you do them. It's so stupid. But whatever, man, it's fine. But anyways, blue extrax, easy. Field dice, easy. Snowflakes, tedious, but easy. Caustic wax, painful as well, but easy. Bubbles, so easy. Remember when Beesmith events, you know, Bubble Man, the hardest part about a quest was the bubbles? Yeah, I miss that actually. I miss that now. Why soft wax tokens? Why couldn't it have been like a million bubbles or something instead, dude? That would have been oh so much better. At least I could have AFK'd that. Mythic Meteor Showers. This part was also kind of stupid because it's also time gated behind like a one day timer each time you want to do it. And since I got Bubble Man's quest super late due to pure RNG, I was on a time crunch for the Mythic Meteor Shower. I had to go in Discord and find like four or five different people with their Mythic Meteor Showers and get them to help me. It's stupid, man. Anyways, though, the Puff Shrooms. Rare Puff Shrooms kind of suck, but it was doable. Epic Puff Shrooms wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, actually. Those two were actually kind of easy, probably because I popped off in the Puff Shroom runs now. Five level 18 plus Puff Shrooms, also kind of easy. Just got to do a lot of Puff Trading and keep track of your boosts. Level 19 Puff Shroom is pretty much the same as a level 18 Puff Shroom, also pretty easy. And these guys, actual cakewalk. Level 19 Snow Bear, why was it nerfed down? Why wasn't it like 21 this year? That doesn't really make sense. Especially in the year where attacking has been like twice as easy due to like the new precision boss added. Why wasn't it added a tier or like an extra level? I don't know, but whatever, man. I'm not complaining. I am though. Soft wax tokens suck, dude. On it, why? What were you thinking, man? God damn. Anyways, fellas, let's turn this in. You probably hate how much I've been talking. So, hey, it's over now, all right? It's finally over. Oh my God, let's actually go. So, uh, who, who's been naughty? Uh, everybody. Hmm? Brown bear? Hmm? Sick bug? Definitely. Uh, your own grandma? Hmm? All the children in the entire world. All the children. All of them naughty, naughty little boys. Just like I thought. <laughs> Just like I thought. The whole dang lot. Well, I better get to writing names down then. Uh, don't worry, uh, I'm magic, so it'll only take a second. Okay, that that's a that, that's good enough. Now that we've got their names, you can just punish everyone using that naughty list every eight hours. You'll just have to try to see what it does because I, I I'm over this. Oh my God, I'm being blinded. Whose idea was it to drag up Beesmus into March anyways? Like I, I sort of the boss of Beesmus, and, and even I'm sick of it. Uh, Be Bear's the one who won't let it go. He's he has the problem. Beesmus. Beesmus be 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 is special to me too, but like, too, too much of a good thing, you know? But wh whatever, Mary Beesmus, keep believing in me and uh, never, never be naughty or, or else, or else, yes, yes, yes! Ah, oh, it's over, I'm done, what did we get? Bubbly Man's Naughty List, we got like 5 trillion honey, that's a lot. Uh, 11,000 blueberries, pink, red, white balloon, black balloon, 11 boxer frogs, precise bee jelly, and a bubble bee egg. 
Okay, well then. That's nice. Anyways, let's kill ourselves, guys. Let's go. Ah, I miss this. One lump of coal. Ah, let's go. Let's actually go. Is this thing dog water? It is. All right, let's, let's not care about it. Oh my god, dude. We're done. We're actually done. Oh, it feels good not having to scroll up so much anymore. Oh, look at this. It's actually tame now. It's beautiful. Oh, it's over. It's actually over. I'm I'm free, guys. Do you know how liberating this feels? Having beasts must end? Oh my god, it's actually over, dude. I just want regular beasts from content. Screw beasts, man. I'm over it, all right? The boosts are cool and all, but the quests aren't. The quest sucks this year, man. Puff shrooms suck. Soft wax tokens suck. Bubbly Man sucks as well. Ah, oh, everything everything just sucks this year for, for quest-wise, at least. I'm sorry, man. That is my hot take of the year. These quests were absolute dog water, man. Absolutely rancid. My god, man. I literally had to force myself to not have a life for like the past month just because of this event. It caused me to get behind on so many videos just so I could keep up with stupid Bee Bear and Bubble Bee Man. There is also something I want to point out that I said like about a year ago that I want to slap myself now for. Let's take a look, fellas. Alright, where did I say it? It was in this video right here. Beast Worm is coming back, baby. This was actually not a year ago. I thought I said it a while ago, but I didn't. It was actually more like maybe three or four months ago, but still, man. It was quite a while ago. Um... Wait, I think it's right over here, actually. Wait a minute. Start talking, stupid. God, no. Not again. Yep, 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 oh, yep. Oh, I shall. Oh, actually, wait. No, last year was easy. Did, did I miss it? Wait a minute. Hold up. Run it back. Right over here. Beastmas content. For Beastmas, on it will bring back a lot of old Beastmas content. He thinks recycling old content makes it easier for him to focus on newer features. I don't really think he added any new Beastmas features this year. I think it was just, like, regular update stuff and also just old Beastmas things. But we didn't get, like, any, any new festive-related things, right? Except for the Samovar, I think, but that's pretty much it. But right over here, on it will try to make Bubble Man's Beastmas quests harder this year. And he did just that. I should have saw this as a warning. A big caution sign saying, Warning! Panic! Start panicking now! But no! You wanna know what my dumb ass said? On it, we'll try to make- Start Man talking, dude. Start- start, start to, to, I'm just gonna let oh, him say it himself. Oh god, no. Not again. Oh, I shall- Oh, actually, wait. No, last year was easy. Because I AFK'd. <laughs> oh, I mean, if it's still gonna be a little bit harder than last year's. Oh, I'm all for it, man. No! Let's go. No! Last year was easy, dude. Oh, I completely forgot how easy it was. You I literally fool. made a joke that, like, I you finished absolute the moron. before I released the video where I got the actual quest. I still did that, but <laughs> still. Oh, no! Let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, bring it on, on. No! Man, I'll spank no. that thing right You're wrong! Back, You're wrong, I past mean. me! Oh, you know I'm gonna AFK the hell out of that. You thing. couldn't! Uh -huh. You are so incredibly wrong, past me! You fool! You absolute moron! Oh my god, November 25th me, you are an absolute bumbling idiot. I jinxed myself, man. I actually jinxed myself. Why was I so cocky? Why was I so incredibly cocky? What is wrong with me? And I suffered so incredibly now. Oh my god, there is actually something wrong with me, dude. But when I was compiling clips for my best of Gumpendium 2021, I just saw that and I was like, WHAT?! You said WHAT past me?! WHAT DID YOU SAY?! But hey, at least you can see my character development from four months ago. Look at me go, fellas. I turned from a normal person, or at least kind of, to a broken man. But it's alright. Beastmas is over. I'm done, alright? I'm- I'm done. I was a fool to think I would be able to AFK this year, man. No, no AFKing allowed. You must do natural puff shrooms every 30 cycling minutes. No breaks for you. No, no, no. You must do puff shrooms. Like, god damn, that was so god awful, man. There was one day where I actually got a headache because I was doing so much, like, puff shroom runs that I actually started to, like, feel dizzy and I was like, oh my god, this is, oh, I gotta stop, man. I actually gotta stop. Uh well then, fellas, it's over. We're done. Now we can do a little funny little boost, and we're done. We're actually finished with Beastmas. There might be one more episode after this if something cool happens when Beastmas ends, but if it doesn't, and there's just a bunch of, like, ending messages saying, Oh, goodbye, everybody. Oh, I'm Bee Bear. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going now, everybody. I'm, I'm not going to make a video about that. I, I don't really care. I have enough stuff to edit anyways.
But yeah, I'm gonna cut back when I actually open the Mondo box. I'm not gonna open it quite yet, just because I still gotta prepare my Nectars and also my other boosts. And basically just make sure everything is perfect before I actually do it, alright? But I promise I will include it in this video. I'm probably not gonna include like a large chunk of the boost in this video though, just because it's probably strangling on a little bit too far now. But maybe I'll just like cut around to like the best parts when I actually start popping off. Anyways, I'll see you in two seconds once we finally open this thing, fellas. Guys, I'm an idiot! I'm not even recording! Oh my- Oh, this is ruined! My video is ruined! I didn't click record! I was talking for five minutes! God damn it! <laughs> no! I just- Oh! Oh, no! Fellas! Guys! I messed up! I messed up so incredibly bad! Oh, I didn't click record, are you kidding? I looked over at the worst moment, right when I clicked E, I noticed it didn't record! God damn it! Oh, fellas, I'm so sorry! Oh, that hurts! It actually hurts! We just opened literally the thing that took me like hours and years to grind for, and I opened it off camera! Are you kidding? Oh my god, I'm actually stupid. Well, it's not a compendium episode if I don't take at least one L. That's my motto. Oh my god. Alright, well hey fellas. I have a little bit of explaining to do, alright? We're doing the boost. The big mega boost I was talking about throughout this episode. We're doing it now, alright? I have a spreadsheet next to me that lists everything I need to do before the boost, right before the boost, during the boost, and after the boost. Literally, nothing else can go wrong from now on, alright? I can't believe I opened this thing off camera, dude. Oh my god, man. What is wrong with me? Ah, uh, what do we get, guys? Let's see. I heard that it wasn't worth it, so... It might not be, but let's see. Uh, ginger bears, one turpentine. I was expecting like 20 million, but okay on it. Five festive beans, five mythic eggs, five festive planters, 10 super smoothies, honey day event, and a star treat, and also a gifted mythic egg. Okay, that's actually not that bad. I don't know why people are crying and complaining about the rewards. That's not even that terrible, okay? I was expecting like three things out of this thing, I'm gonna be honest, but no, that's not even that bad actually. Honestly, I'll take it. That's just a lot of pretty late game rewards. I mean, it would have been cool to see some waxes maybe, like 25 swirled waxes, like maybe, or like 25 caustic waxes, I don't know. Something along the lines of that, because caustic waxes and swirled waxes, those are a pretty elusive resource to come across nowadays. But I don't know, man. Anyways, uh, that is such a- aw, oh, that is god-awful, man. I can't believe I didn't hit record. I didn't check once. Out of those five minutes of me talking, going on and on about a boost, I didn't check once about recording. Not even when I was about to open this damn thing, are you kidding? That is so stupid of me. Oh my god, man. Well, guys. We're doing a mega boost. We have the two times honey day event. We better make it worthwhile. I am gonna make it worthwhile. There's a new code in the game. It's for the four year anniversary of Beast Swarm. I can't believe I've been playing this game for an entire four years. Someone send me help. I can't stop now though. I'm too far in. My god. But inside of the code, it gives us a four times sunflower field pollen boost and also like 15 times sunflower field wins. And a few episodes ago, I mentioned that I was working on my badges. And that is actually because, for some reason, I've never done a mega boost inside of the sunflower field. Not once. So this thing is sitting at like 700 billion pollen. But I decided to go around the fields with my petal planter, grind a ton with it. Since of course the easiest way to get up your badges is by just AFKing with a petal planter. Since you get 100 billion pollen each time you collect it, it's pretty good. But yeah, I did that for about a week and a half, got all my other crappy badges up, so now my sunflower badge is the worst, alright? And the reason why I did that is because on its lit art, the guiding star that you get from it, the field that it goes to is based off of your worst badges. And since my sunflower field is the worst possible badge I have, that means I have the most likelihood of getting a sunflower guiding star. You see where I'm going with this, fellas, alright? Sunflower field guiding star plus honey day event plus mega code boost, and I'm also going to be getting the Galentine's buff from the Wind Shrine, which I believe also gives a Sunflower Field boost. So let's just get that out of the way as well. I believe you also get this for about two days, I think. I'm not exactly sure about that, but yeah, let's just 
hold this down and wait until it gets to about 50,000. I'm gonna do 50,001 just in case. I don't really know how the RNG works for the, the this thing. I have no idea how it works. It's kind of it's it's all it's all weird and finicky. I I don't like it. But we're just gonna be safe just in case, all right? I wish there was a like feature where you could like type in the exact amount on it. You did it for the auto jelly system and also auto treats. Why can't you do it for the wind shrine as well? That would be much obliged. Thank you very much. But all right, just a few more to go. Four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. I swear it's 50,000. If it changed for some reason, I'm gonna be mad. But please, ah, give it to me, please. Ah, a swift warm gale blows out from the Galentine Shrine. You feel the tingle of butterflies in your stomach. Your bees buzz in a pitter patter of delight. What's come over you in your swarm? Could it be love? No, it's loneliness. Happy Galentine's Day. Oh, thank you. Give me these boosts. Give me these boosts. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's actually go. And we now we have this Galentine's Blessing for two days, and it gives us all of these different stuff, capacity, instant bee conversion. But more importantly, 50% sunflower-fueled pollen. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good, especially when we're gonna do a boost with this thing, all right? You see, fellas, the stars are aligning. I also have a bunch of maxed out nectars over here, or pretty much maxed out. The best I could get it, all right? We also got a full day's worth of satisfying nectar cooking up over there. That's like the best nectar for a white player, so we're we're making sure that's at the fullest. And now I just gotta do a few more things, activate the field boosters. Actually, my amulets are on the top. Crap, that's actually not good. Um, I'm gonna quickly rejoin. Wait a minute. I want to free up this top bar as much as possible, just so when I get precision buffs, I can keep track of it, unlike every single other boost I've done. It's very annoying how that happens, but it's like to do with like your resolution when you join the game. It's all, it's all eh. But now I believe we can get started, I think. Turn on my snowflake, start doing that. I think it's time, fellas. The moment of truth. If I don't get this, I actually have to do this another day, by the way. So, please, on it. You've screwed me over throughout this entire business event. For the love of God, just let me have this one thing, all right? Let me be a white player in peace and tranquility. Thank you very much, Lord and Savior, Jesus on it, Christ. I'm literally praying in front of the birth of Christ right now. This could not be any more holy. God, if you're out there, please have my back for this. Oh my God. Ah, 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 please, 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 please. Damn it! I'll... I'll see you in a second, fellas. Alright, fellas, this is attempt number two. Please, give it to me. Uh, God damn it. Alright, fellas, this is attempt number three. Please on it, please. God damn it, why again? Ayo, uh. fellas, welcome back, and this is attempt number four. Please. Please, why? I can only do this one more time until my honey day ends. Why must you do this to me? Oh my god, okay. It's down to the final guiding star. Oh boy, hot dog. All right, fellas, welcome to my final attempt at actually getting fat bank in this game. God, please, if you're really out there, send me a message. This is your one way to let everybody know that you exist. Please, please, for the love of actually God, please, no, why, are you kidding, god damn it, seriously, out of like the four or five damn times I did the sunflower, stupid, trying to get the sunflower guiding star, it doesn't give it to me, I've gotten it like 20 million times when doing puff shrooms for completing this goddamn bubble bee man quest, why is it not giving it to me now, oh my god, are you kidding me? My luck actually sucks. This is like definite proof that my RNG is actually complete dog water. Like that's not even a joke. It's actually true. Like I'm statistically more unlucky than 99% of people on this goddamn planet. What the hell on it? Oh my lord. Well, this sucks. I only have 30 minutes left of my honey day event, so I literally can't stall any longer. I wish I could. I wish you could pause this damn thing so, you know, you could activate and get your perfect boost instead of having it be goddamn RNG. I'm wasting too much time already. Anyways, there's a code in the game. I'm, I'm not doing the sunflower anymore. We'll save that for next year, guys. 
but there's a code called like Walmart, Walmart toys or something. What, what was it again? I don't even remember. God damn it. Okay, there we go. Walmart toys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Quack, 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 quack. Oh my God. Well, I kind of expected my luck to suck. So that's why I had my alt account already here, ready. But like, God damn it, man. Okay. Yeah, in the code, it's like pineapple stuff. You get four times pollen. You also get the code buff for 100% more pollen and capacity. And you also get wins, which, you know, cool, I guess. I, I, I'll take it. Uh, there's also another code. This one was for the sunflower field. But since I'm not going to be doing a boost for the sunflower field in like an entire year, there's not really a point. It's called four year fiesta. This is for the anniversary of bee swarm. Let's actually go, fellas. I just realized I forgot like pretty much everything else. Oh my God. All right. Well, this, this is, this is just nice and dandy. Oh my God, man. Okay. Well, you, you can't win them all. I, I guess that's the lesson we learned today. You can't win them all. Alrighty. Well, what up auto count? Start eating these things, please. All right, there you go, mate. Yep, start start eating up. Very, very good, auto count. All right, also use auto gumdrops and, and all, all of these things. There we go. All right, I'm making sure this boost can be as good as possible. All right. I'm, I'm, we're, we're not, we're not screwing around today, fellas. No screwing around, all right? We're not missing anything. We're not missing any buffs. Nothing. We're doing a full out grinding session. I, I still can't believe that I was not able to get a goddamn boost for that long. Are you kidding? I'm, I'm actually flabbergasted. I can't believe it. This is, this is a terrible day for like all the Americans. On the bright side, at least I can see my precision so I can keep track of it. That's good, I guess. I gotta start getting some precise marks though, because those are the things that make you pop off with the gummy baller, all right? And since we're doing this Omega boost, I feel like it's only right to pop off. I don't know what I just said. That doesn't make any sense at all, actually, but I, I don't care, man. Am I forgetting anything? I feel like I am, but, like, I honestly don't know anymore. I don't- I don't think so. I guess- well, since I have 10 times precision, might as well use a festive bean. There we go, alright? I'm probably gonna experience immense lag in T-1 second, but, you know, that's fine. That is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Completely fine, fellas. Oh my god, alright, well... Are we- is that 47 billion a second that I'm seeing? That's actually kind of popping off though. Wait a minute. Hold on a- hold on a second. This gummy star is nearing a trillion? That- that's pretty- that's pretty good actually. You know, it's, it's pretty- pretty average. I, if I do say so myself. Oh boy, hot dog. It's gonna be kind of hard to maintain the jelly bean like sharing buff with my alt account since I got a man like two accounts at once. This honestly would be a lot easier if I just had a friend. But I'm forever alone, so, you know, that's that's one of the luxuries that I do not have in this game, unfortunately. But I think the main thing that, like, sets my boost apart from either sucking or being really good is actually the gummy baller. Is Did I just see 100 billion a second, by the way? I think I just did. Wait a minute. But, like, the, the one thing I gotta do, and the one thing I gotta remember, is I gotta keep track of my, my gummy ball combo. Because with, with that bouncing all over the place, each time it hits a mark, it, like, levels up. So... In theory, if I get like a really good gummy ball combo, we should be seeing like fat numbers, like actually. And of course the gummy ball multiplies the most with this uh, precision mark right over here. So I'm trying to activate it on that. There we go. That should be bouncing across the wall pretty good. The max it can go to is like either 10 or 11. I've actually gotten it to the max at one point, but it's very hard to do. You need at least like two precision marks and for the thing to like start bouncing all over the wall like constantly. So let's see if we can get it to happen again. Come on, activate. There we go. All right. Oh, crap. I'm about to lose my precision. Wait a minute. Bees! Bees! Where are you, bees? Precision, pre precise bees. Are all of you are useless right now. Damn it, I lost it, I think. Oh, my. Okay, well, this sucks. Uh, uh, that is that is kind of a problem. I, I got to actually build that up again. Wait a minute. I'm missing out on fat bank because my precision is gone. You failures, bees. You had one job, and that was to give me a token. Oh my god, I lost precision again, are you kidding? Precise bees, I have four of you, what are you doing, you clowns? Literally for that entire minute, none of you decided you wanted to actually activate, really? Come on, man, you guys, don't, they don't even have two abilities, they have one! They actually just decided to not do their job for like an entire minute. That is god awful, what the hell? I'm about to lose my boot, I forgot the mark, wait, did I? I don't remember, wait, wait, I, I'm, I, I forgot, oh, oh crap, wait, did I actually not have a marshmallow beyond? No. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that actually happened. That did not. 
I swear to God, I better not look back on the footage and realize that I didn't have a marshmallow beyond. Because if I didn't, I'm going to be so pissed off, dude. Dude, how much? That's like 50% white pollen. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I had one on because of the code, right? The code activates one, I think. I'm 99% sure about that. Why are there like two marks on the field right now? Bees, what are you doing? Bees, please. Please, bees, please. Do your job. God damn it. I don't, I don't pay you guys for nothing, all right? I don't pay you anything, actually, but I feed you, all right? I feed you incredibly at very random sporadic times of the year. And you better respect me for that, god damn it. Oh my god. No, I'm seriously thinking about that marshmallow bee right now, though. Did I actually forget it? Dude, I literally made an entire spreadsheet about what to bring or what to activate just so I just so something like this wouldn't happen. I swear to no, that that cannot be. There is n absolutely no way. All right, fellas, my boost is about to end in four, three, two, one. There it goes. It's all gone. Oh my god. Huh. I mean, it was a good boost. That's the best I've ever done in my entire career. I can't say that that was god awful. What it could have been, though, it is god awful, alright? Compared to, like, what could have been. I think I made about, like, uh, 35 trillion from that, which is still pretty good. I mean, a blue player could have probably made, like, five times more in the same boost, but, like, shut up, man. I'm not blue, alright? Blue is for nerds, alright? I'm not a trend follower like all the beta blue players. I'm- I'm a base gummy player, alright? White man- Wait. Before I say anything stupid. Goo supremacy, alright? Amen. Just wait, alright? Just wait until Onnit buffs white into hell. And then we'll see who's laughing. And then I could say I was white from the very start. I was ahead of the times. But until then, you blue and red players have your fun. Yeah, that is probably the last thing I'm gonna do in Beesmas. Mega boost, lots and lots of money. This is still taking a hell of a lot of time to convert, even though it was like 23 billion. I have like maxed out nectars right now, so my my bees are just popping off in the convert rate. What is it at right now? 25,000%. Yep, that is that is quite a lot. I'm still kind of disappointed though. I wasn't able to get that sunflower guiding star. Oh my god. Could you imagine what could have happened if I got that stupid Sunflower Field Guiding Star? In the past two days, Onnit has nerfed my luck so incredibly, even more god-awfully than it already was. He knew if I got off this Guiding Star boost, I would become too powerful. I would have proved that white players could have straight up epic banger moments, alright? I probably could have ended up on this list over here, the Daily Top Honeymakers. For sure, actually. I almost was on here, and I did a slightly worse boost. I guarantee at least 90% of these people are blue players. And I could have probably been like, let's see, maybe top 65 around there as a white player. Could you imagine? That would have just been mind-opening, alright? If only the stars aligned. If only. Uh, and once you look at that, looks like my Honey Day event actually ended. It's gone. My Galentine's Blessing is about to end as well in three minutes. But can you imagine what could have happened today? Maxed out Nectars, two times Honey Day event, Galentine's Blessings, five times Wealth Clock, four times Sunflower Field Pollen, 15 times Sunflower Field Wins, Marshmallow Bee Super Smoothie, the stupid lump of coal that does like nothing, but still it's good, Mondo Chick Blessing, Festive Bean Buffs, and all the other different boosts going off at once, plus a guiding star for another like 2 or 2.5 times more pollen. That would have been so much money. So much money. I probably could have doubled what I made today. I probably could have made like 70 trillion honey. Could you imagine? That would have actually maybe put me in the top 50. My god. But unfortunately, no. No matter how many times I used that stupid guiding star, none of them ended up on the sunflower field, despite it being my worst badge. That is just truly god-awful. Maybe next year, though. Maybe next year. I'm not gonna grind at all on the sunflower field. I want this mega boost, alright? I swear, I'm gonna try my hardest to make it happen next year, alright? Mark my goddamn words. We're trying the same thing, and if I don't get it next year as well, I'm going to cry. That is going to be the first video where you see me cry on camera. But yeah, really quickly, since this is the final episode of Beesmas, probably the next episode I'll do about Beeswarm, 
I'll go check out the test realm because I heard it actually opened up with like new stuff. Not like super awesome, interesting things, but I think like be equip things. But it should be interesting either way. I've seen a couple of them and they look pretty good. But I don't know. I'll probably take my time to get that video out just because I kind of want to take a break from Bee Swarm. I've just been on the constant grind, and now that Beastmas is about to end and I did everything, I kind of just want to relax now and enjoy life. I'm also very behind on my upload schedule and also just like kind of school related stuff, so I should probably get cracking at that. But anyways, the final things I want to do in this Beastmas event before we end off is I just want to buy these last few things in the catalog. We got this Beequip bundle over here for a snow globe, a toy drum, poinsettia, icicles, and a beesmas top. Are these even going to be worth it actually? I'm second guessing myself now. It's 15 ginger bears. I... do I really want to get rid of those? I don't know. Once again, Onnit has still not added the feature to buy Beequip case storage slots. Even though he said he was going to do that like 5 years ago. I don't even have any storage for these kind of things. What do I do? I already have snow globes. I pretty much have every Beequip, actually. Should I even buy- I'm not- I'm not even gonna buy that, actually. Unless in, like, a day, Onnit confirms once Beesmas ends, he's gonna add a way to buy storage slots. I'm probably not gonna buy that. And if he does, then I'll just do it off camera. But this right here, the festive bundle, I'll- I'll get this, I guess. Beesmas tree hat, but more importantly, five festive beans and, I guess, ten ticket planters. Pretty good. 5,000 snowflakes, 100 ginger bears. I think it's worth it. It's five festive beans. You can never go wrong with them, all right? And this one is... I can't tell how good it is. It's, it's level three. I wish the ones you bought were like five star potentials because like it's a one-time item that you can buy from a shop that's like a one-time thing every year. Why isn't it the best? I don't know. But now that brings our total to 17 festive beans. That is kind of a lot. I should probably start using these more. But anyways, the last thing, the final, final last thing I want to do is I want to open this thing over here. Gonna be honest, I have not been keeping track of how long I have not opened this. Probably the last time was like whatever Bieber quest like required it. So that was at least like three weeks ago. You guys are gonna pog your pants when you see me open this. Watch this, fellas. Three, two, one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 272. Yep, that is quite a lot. That is, oh, wow. How much do we have now? That's like, what, 800? Oh, 849. Oh, I'm so rich. I'm so incredibly rich. Plus, I still have an extra 177 stale ones from last year. Dude, I'm rolling in the gingerbread dough. I have like a thousand right now. My god. I'm probably gonna wait until these things also turn stale next year. Even though the only real use I would actually have out of making like 10 bees gifted is if I were to switch colors. But, like, I'm literally white forever, probably, because Gumpendium, why would I change if that's literally, like, my YouTube brand? That would be stupid. But yeah, anyways, I've been recording for 44 minutes inside of this one segment. That is also probably an added, like, hour, plus, like, the other stuff I did in this episode. So, I'm gonna call it quits here, fellas. This is officially the ending to Beesmas. I'm finally free, guys. For at least the next, like, maybe month or two. I heard Audit wants to update, like, midway through the year. So that gives me about, like, uh, two or three months to relax. So, whatever. I'll take it. That does mean there probably will be a lack of B-Swarm content. At least from the main game. If there are a ton of stuff in the test realm that constantly get added, maybe I'll do a B-Swarm episode every now and then covering the new stuff. But aside from that, I'm pretty much done. Let's actually go. I can now save up money again for whatever endgame items decide to come out in a few months. Or I could spend more on treats and get my entire hive to like level 18. I don't know. But yeah, anyways fellas, I'ma head out. Thank you for watching. Smash like, subscribe, turn on notifications, or else you will get my cursed luck. And you know you don't want that, alright? You saw the many times that stupid guiding star has screwed me over. You do not want that RNG, trust me. But yeah, anyways fellas, I'ma head out. I'll see you guys next time, whenever that is. Bye bye, gamers.